Hello and a very warm welcome to Business Live. Yes, do let us know what makes you happy. But first, a two-year row over whether to ban the use of a common weed killer in Europe reaches its climax later. EU health experts are due to vote on whether to extend the licence for glyphosate. It's a chemical used by farmers and gardeners right across the world in the herbicide world known as Roundup. Just to give you an idea, residue of the chemical has been found on 45% of Europe's topsoil. And it was discovered in the urine of three quarters of Germans tested at five times the legal limit. Well, the reason that all of this is worrying for some are the links between glyphosate and cancer. A study back in 2015 by the World Health Organization's Cancer Agency found that it was probably carcinogenic to humans. Well, Monsanto, which discovered the chemical and owns the Roundup brand, insists that it is safe. The other issue is what could replace it. Several farmers unions have threatened lawsuits if the license is not extended because they then have to completely change how they farm. Ben. Thanks, Alice. Well, with me is our economics correspondent, Andrew Walker. Um, Andrew, as Alice was mentioning mm -hmm. there, there's a lot riding on this decision, isn't there? Yes, I, the um, glyphosate is the most widely used pesticide um, and um, it's, it is very important for farmers as, as it's currently practised, in particular in the European Union. There have been a number of estimates about the potential economic cost if they were unable to use it. There's been one study suggested a billion pounds a year would be the cost to British farmers, other studies um, on in France suggested um, even larger costs for French uh, vine growers and, um, and cereal farmers. So yeah, qu a lot at stake, quite apart from what the, um, uh, the potential losses for the suppliers. Um, Monsanto is one you mentioned, but there are other, um, there are other businesses that use, the, uh, use glyphosate in their, in their pesticides. Also worth mentioning, of course, that um, the ability to use glyphosate is one of the key selling points of certain types of genetically modified crop because they are resistant to, the, um, resistant to glyphosate, which means that, they, um, that, that the soil around them can be sprayed with this pesticide, uh, with this herbicide, um, well, and, and they survive uh, intact and able to, um, w without having to deal with the competition from, from weeds. Uh, the politics behind this mm -hmm. are interesting, aren't they, Andrew? Because uh, the European Commission seems to be in favour of renewing the licence, yeah. but the European Parliament sits on the other side of the fence. Yes, the European Parliament yesterday passed a resolution calling for glyphosate to be phased out over five years. The European Commission, on the other hand, originally proposed a 10-year renewal. Um, they are now accepting that because of the politics, it's likely to be shorter than that. In a meeting that's happening today, um, they are looking for something between five and seven years. But it is striking. They, um, they could, in principle, go ahead and simply, the Commission could go ahead and, and do this if they wanted to. Um, but they want to ensure that the member states are on side because it is so politically sensitive in many of them. We had a petition with, signed by more than a million Europeans Europeans presented to the EU this week um, calling for no extension. Andrew, I was speaking to someone from the uh, European Crop Protection Agency earlier who said that there's very little evidence mm. that it is carcinogenic. I mean, that's, that's one of the, the, the big issues that's made this so controversial. Well, indeed, and th there's a couple of European agencies, one's looking at food, one looking at chemicals that have concluded that um, glyphosate is probably okay. Um, the main um, report against it is from the, as, as um, Alice mentioned at the beginning, from the WHO's um, Cancer Research Agency, which thought it was probably carcinogenic to humans, based to a large extent on evidence from animal experiments and from um, evidence looking at DNA damage in, in human cells. But at the very least, I think it's fair to say that um, the scientific community does not regard it as established fact, that it is dangerous. OK, Andrew, thanks very much. Andrew Walker, our economics uh, correspondent there. Thanks. Yeah, many, many thanks. OK, let's just uh, take a look at some other stories making the news today. And, uh,